Um. Well, I'm gonna get very low frame rates for a few mi minutes. So I don't know why. I deleted something. I emptied my recycling bin, and all of a sudden now it's, it's fine. Yeah, I don't know what just happened there. But what the hell is my objective? Leap to your death from the open. Wow. Um. <laughs> Let's go kill ourselves. God, that guy just saw me, I think. Nope. He's not catching up to me. Why did I just do that? I think we should stick with these. Good. Hey, look, another note. Case number two. M. Gunter. Patient history. Entry one. Subject brought in by City Watch for observation. Found by officer eating a meal of questionable organs. Dr. Hanscomb to take the case. Entry two. Experimental treatments going poorly. Cure unlikely. Subject allowed to move about the hospital with escort. Recommended he be kept well fed at all time. Favorite area is the meal hall. May be allowed there as a reward for good behavior. Patients must have not have access to the meal utensils, especially knives. Blunt utensils only. Also, remind staff to discourage other patients from using Gunter nickname, Dr. Hanscom. Or Gornther, or something. Ooh, this is... Never get these guys. Get away from me. What the hell? Damn it. Next note. Patient number one. E. Polstrel. Patient history. Entry one. Subject arrived by, by City Watch Escort. Perpetrator of the infamous Talo Man murder. Deemed, deemed unfit to stand trials. Wears wax masks to cover extreme facial deformities. Admitted for observation and treatment, Dr. Sandbridge. Entry 2. Um, sedatives and electrical treatments ineffective. Possesses a cunning in, uh, intelligence. Extremely dangerous. Refuses to answer to own name no patient takes taken to call him king no one natural leader recommend he kept in seclusion chamber ds entry three trick nurse uh trick nursing staff into taking his medication nurse sorrel death uh dead nurse lovewell remains in sick ward we were unable to reach her before he disfigured her face. That's 
gross. Where did he get the wax? Diaz. I don't know, maybe someone gave it to him? Maybe you had some candles laying about? Maybe that person with the tinderbox gave him uh, something to light the candle on and make wax or something. Case number three. S. Eisen. Patient history. Entry one. Delivered by City Watch under suspicion of murder. Patient has marked episodes of piss whatever that is, during which sleepwalking and other behaviors occur when the de collecting of evidence decollection of evidence when awakened, admitted for observa observation and treatment. Dr. Pettahue. Entry two. Water treatment water treatments have good effect. Unclear whether and treatments itself is sound or if the subject is merely figure figuring fidgeting proper behavior in order to avoid further submissions submerging that patients allowed to keep an unlit candle Dr. P. Doc, uh, entry 3. Patient caught sleepwalking in the morgue. If patient is developing an efficient affinity for the morgue could be useful to withhold access as punishment. Dr. P. This place doesn't sound very pleasant even though I screwed up on a word it's all good and uh, I'm gonna have to buy a lot more flash bulbs there's a shuttle right there take that <laughs> I swear, this game does have some of its humor moments involved in it. <laughs> he didn't suspect a thing. Maybe I'm lucky, I'll... I won't die. You know, this one mission in particular is now over. I guess it wasn't that bad. But it still freaked me out. Why is there green glowing mist coming from the, the floors of this place? Oh, you having a meeting? Out with your lights. And I'm screwed. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Hey, yeah. Oh, that's a long fall. I finally managed to escape from that place. But I think I'm out of my depth here. I saw an old portrait of a girl who looks just like that keeper translator. But how can that be? I don't know. I only found traces of the hag. I don't think she's been there since Drept saw her all those years ago. Mm -hmm. So I'm left with questions. And the vial of blood the ghost had me steal. The ghost is beckoning. I think I'd better follow. This isn't over yet. And it sure will not be until later on. So. It took me almost an hour. Oh, no, it took me more than an hour. Almost an hour and a half or something like that. I got 100% loot. I was caught three times. Killed three opponents. Stealth kills for six. Picked 11 locks. Got a good amount of loot. Take no damage and we've been playing for 560 minutes and we've gotten quite a lot of loot in that time also we will be buying a lot more flash bombs explosives fire maybe I think I know where to get a lot of fire arrows so I don't think I need to buy any but uh, let's continue